Example 3.2. In this example, we consider the flow around the bicyclist moving through the air, which has a velocity of V0. We need to determine the difference in pressures between point 0.1 and point 0.2. To start the analysis, we're going to write what information we have about each one of the points. So we're going to write for point 1 and for point 2. Then we said that at point 1, V1 is equal to V0. Uh, the P that we're going to have is going to be P1. And then the value for C is going to be equal to Z1. The same thing that we, the information that we know about point 2, velocity we know that the velocity is equal to zero since it's an stagnation point and uh, for pressure point two we're going to call it p2 and then the height is going to be equal to z2 now in order to evaluate the relationship of pressures between one and two we're going to write the Bernoulli equation so we write p1 plus one half rho v1 square plus gamma z1 and then we write p2 plus one half rho v2 square plus z2 gamma z2 the information that we have is that the streamline is horizontal therefore the value of z1 and z2 are the same therefore these two quantities will cancel we also know that the value at the velocity at point 2 is equal to 0, so we could get rid of this term over here. And then if we solve for the relationship between P1 uh, minus P2, we see that that is equal to 1 half rho V1 squared, the negative. Or we could say that P2 minus P1 to remove the negative is equal to 1 half rho v1 square and since we know that the value of v1 is equal to the air uh, velocity so we could write as one half rho v naught square and that is the difference between the pressures that we have using the two points are given by the problem